So uh, hello everybody, my name is Gabriel Urbain and I come from the Ghent University in Belgium and I started a, a PhD three months ago uh, as part of the HBP SP10 project that Alois Knoll presented uh, yesterday and uh, the topic of my research is currently to use uh, this 3D model of a mouse developed at TPFL um, and make it work actually using a technique of artificial, uh, uh, artificial neural network called uh, reservoir computing. So, to change, yeah. so um, as time is very short, I just try to, to tell you what is reservoir computing, why do we think it's useful for locomotion of a mouse, and how we are planning to do it. So reservoir computing consists actually of, uh, it, actually it's a, um, it's a kind of recurrent neural network that is in its core a reservoir constituted on, uh, of uh, several um, neurons connected together randomly. And so this random connection uh, help us to enrich the signal coming from the inputs by computing some nonlinear combination out of them and also adding some fading memory thanks to some loops in, inside an, the reservoir. Then uh, in the output, we have a layer that we train. We train the synaptic connection of this layer so that we can match the desired output. So um, why are we using that? Uh, for my part, I think there is at least four reasons to use this kind of artificial neural network inside uh, the mouse. The first one is maybe because um, it has shown very, very good results in uh, many kinds of application in uh, machine learning especially speech recognition, uh, modeling, uh, time series prediction, etc. Uh, also, it's enabled to have a very abstract and generic model uh, for the controller, which is not the case uh, in lots of uh, controller that are actually, uh, that are currently uh, used, especially uh, uh, they use very detailed analytical model. Uh, that leads us to a third reason, uh, which is it's one of the most uh, biologically plausible artificial neural network. And it helps us to have this, uh, this approach of a synthetic, uh, synthetic approach to, to go further into science and then uh, evolve towards more realistic neural networks. And finally, and maybe this is the main reason, given uh, the random connection here, we have kind of an unknown uh, dynamic. And so it means that we can replace part of it by a real, a physical dynamical system, such as compliant robotics or a body or something like this. So it can decrease the number of neurons that we use here and so the computation needs. And so how we are planning to do that, first we start with an open loop controller that use CPGs and muscle models and we try to optimize everything uh, especially like uh, the skeleton, the anchor position of the muscle, the physical parameters of the muscle, but also the CPG's parameters to find like the most natural way of working for the mouse using uh, the minimization of the energy. And when we have that, we can connect a reservoir there and train it by knowing the input we want here and the output we have here. So this is a way to close the loop. Uh, if you have any further question, uh, uh, just come and see my poster uh, and buy me a beer. Uh, we can discuss it together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.